And this is related in that there's lots of chairs on the slide, but this is actually a setup for a support group that I run at the CTA in Glasgow called Artists Anonymous, um, where 12 artists come along and talk about how how um, stressful it can be to be an artist. <laughs> Um, so therapy is something that I'm interested in, and this is a book that was published in 2009 um, where I looked at some of my older projects as though they were symptoms of some sort of terrible mental disorder. This is one of them, called E22, where when I was 22 years old I took a picture of everything that I ate for a year and recorded lots of data about all of those things. So, I have a complete record of every single thing that um, I ate over the course of that year, which has slightly ne ne negative side effects on my mental health. <laughs> but I've also kicked that habit, but some of these projects are ongoing and I like lot of things. This is one of them where I'm attempting to swim the distance across the Atlantic over the course of my lifetime by adding together the, the distance that I swim in my local pool. And as of last Sunday, I think I missed it now. <laughs> anyway, I'm still doing that. And this is another web-based project which was funded by New Media Scotland <coughs> called Trajectories, which actually encourages you to compare your life trajectory to other people with some sort of motivational tool. Um, but I'm interested in thinking about the future in a different way and a bit more realistic way, I suppose. And this is a project that I did last, well, this last month on Commercial Street in London, which aims to draw attention to and promote climate change. Thank you.